That's all right. behind the scenes shit, I don't know. Right. <laughs> Great, first one. Yeah. I think, right, if we ever do, if we end up doing like a food video, mm -hmm. we can take two of these chairs, extend the table out with the extenders. Beautiful shot, I reckon. Yeah. We need like a, we need a gorilla stand or something, you know? Yeah. Oh yes, casting couch, love it. <laughs> uh, Hello so, everyone. So we are recording this straight after the uh, reaction because we wanted to talk a bit of story time uh, about the flat and the issues surrounding it, for which practically dominated our lives between September and November of 2019. I mean, for me it was longer than that because there was that period before we started uni Right, I thought it was going to be done. Yeah. Pro probably since August, when I first promised it would happen. The original deadline you said. It's the absolute final deadline. If yeah. that, it, August the 1st. I won't lie. Like, like, this really... You thought Rome was bad when we talked about Rome, but this really detests the trust in our friendship. Because <sighs> the amount of time I said to him that this was the final deadline, that it was going to happen, and it didn't happen. Like, I've got to tip my hat to this guy for surviving mentally for this long. Yeah, I'm reaping the rewards though with cheap rent. I think I've deserved, I think I've earned it to yeah, be honest. Yeah, it's fine. So let's talk about this. Eight so weeks in the Kingston Hotel. So this is the, um, so this flat we're living in right now, we officially moved, we started uni technically on the 30th of September 2019, but we didn't move into this flat until the 16th of November. Okay, so to put that in perspective, it was week eight. eight. So we were about week eight out of 12 yep. of the first semester. We yep. completed two thirds of the semester before we moved into this accommodation. Yep. Now there were many issues that surrounded it. I'm not just gonna go, I'm not gonna go into detail about it. But basically throughout that time, I originally, we originally started getting this sorted about February time. Well, I started pressing my parents for it about yeah. every time. I wouldn't know. I, I was sort of quite involved in it like early on, but I felt like I was pestering you. And you, yeah. you I think you said that, so I was like, right, I'll, I'm going to leave you to yes. do it. I trust you. I did pester about because what we did with this, we, it's not rented, it's purchased property by my parents. I live in free, pay, pay for it to me, and I deal with the bills. That's how it works. And so my parents, I pestered them from the beginning about it because I originally was, we were originally just going to rent out what normally do, but. It actually became, we actually worked out, it's actually cheaper for them to buy the space, rent it out to me, then rent it out to other students later on, than it is for me and you to actually rent out on our own. Is that what you're going to do now? You're going to rent out to other people when we... I like that, I like that. Because this has come to an investment. This has come to an investment. It's quite a good location. And once we finish with it, probably we've probably done a lot of quite good things to the, uh, like, you know, the curtains and the table and everything. The curtains are not quite sorted in here yeah, yet. So, Anyway, that was all. So I started pestering my parents at the beginning, but I was quite good about it. And originally, they, they said they're not going to start seriously looking at it until the summer. And I trusted them. I had no idea about property. I had no idea how long it would take. If I definitely knew how long it took, I would have pestered them from the beginning. And I'll also say, at this point, my parents were very much questioning why I was trusting you with this sort of stuff. Yeah. Because <laughs> I know it's just, I would question why you trusted me to be honest. They were saying like how much experience do they have in like property and shit like that. And I was like, I'm sure it'll be fine. And they, it's like, they, it takes a while for and I was like They I'm both sure. they both have experience in property. My dad's my dad was the one who orchestrated this all. But they started they didn't realise I don't think any like this when they, when, I, when we had these issues, they really said it's just one of those things that happen. Now I don't know how much I believe them in that aspect. But I'm gonna try and believe them and say that that was one of those things that happened, but not for all of them. There was some things which I could have been avoided if we had gone a lot earlier. But say to say I had to look over about eight properties in this area and we settled on this, set on the price, and this was officially purchased. We we officially put our name down to purchase this in uh late in mid-July 2019. And I will say there was one positive thing to this. You looked at a lot of places, you sent oh, yeah. you sent me a lot of different links on WhatsApp. Eight. Out of every single one, this was probably my second favourite out of all of them. Yeah, but this was my second favourite. It's a huge one. You know, the huge one with the massive living room. Yeah, the only issue I have that is that why what would we use a lot of space for? It would be a hassle to clean, we've not had use. It would have been a hassle to clean, but we could have played tennis in there, dude. Fair point. Like I don't know. Like But no, the problem was the uh the, the, the uh block the block of flats we were in looking at <laughs> was not pristine. Really? Yeah, the, the the flat was nice, but it was not secure. You know how we got the window? To be fair, this place isn't. You know how we got the window in the kitchen? 
Yeah, there's a window, but it was in the next room. So our bedroom spaced out into the corridor. That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. I like that. Why do we not keep that? <laughs> For obvious reasons. That's awesome. So, yeah, we sorted out everything. So, I told Finn, I had no idea. I just got given a rough estimate at this point. But the paperwork took longer than necessary. So, I told Finn originally, I think the first time I had said to you, it will be sorted by August. Yep. Late August. Early September, first September latest. And of course that passed, but you know, it's calm, it's all right. It, it's a bit hassle, but we haven't started uni yet. Yeah, I mean, yeah, chill. As long as we had the flat by the start of uni. One month later, almost a month later, late September, we're starting uni. Still, still, still no word, still no word at whatsoever at this point. By this point, I'm not sure if Finn wants to tell us how his mental state had improved. I'd spent a summer, a, well, basically, I'd spent a very, like, good five months nearly away from university. I was just, I'd spent that time trying to chill myself out. I sorted a lot of stuff out with it. I fell out with a few people because I was basically trying to get rid of all toxicity from my life. I was really just improving myself in a lot of ways, really. I feel like I grew a lot in that time. And I felt like I was ready to face this. Basically, first year was a massive struggle for me due to a lot of things. So second year, I thought, right, I'm going to get, you know, we're going to be in this nice flat. It's going to be sorted. I'm going to hit the ground running. And yeah. Yeah, it's safe to say that I was, I was, a, I was put in a very difficult situation. I hated what I was doing to Finn. And I also, at the same time, despised everyone else involved. I did, I was not getting along with my parents by the time I got to October. I was not happy with them at all. And I was not happy with anyone else involved in being. I was, just, I, was just, <laughs> I don't get angry, but this is probably the worst, most negative thing I, I've ever had in a while. I'll tell you that much. I didn't know much about this because I think you were trying to sort of control me a little bit. You were like trying to keep me. Calm. I did. I didn't want him to know the truth. After I could have, that probably taught my parents and had them talk to him about all the every single bit of issue that was happening. But I felt like that wouldn't have done anything for his. For yeah, his I mean, there was one point where I got so fed up, I messaged him and I was like. Tell me, give me the address of the solicitors, Ben. Give me their address. Let me, where are they? Where can I find them? And you're like, why do you want to know it, that, Finn? It got so bad that we decided <coughs> in early October, well, actually mid-October, to have a final deadline. If it wasn't all bad, then we didn't end it. And that was... Do you want me to tell you a secret? Early November, so yeah. I had begun making plans with my parents that if by the time... The first semester ended, if it still wasn't sorted, I was going to go find my own place. I don't blame you, I would have done the same. I was like, I was like, there are actually spots in the plaza this year, you know. Oh. And I was like, well, he basically wanted to get into the plaza for the first year, but sorry, he didn't get it. So No, I did get it, and then they cancelled it, sorry, and yeah. he didn't tell me. <laughs> so yeah, that was beginning to become quite attractive to him, because by this point, we're in, it's only November, and the deadline we get for the final deadline passed. I'm not sure how long it was between our final deadline and when we actually moved in. And I also think it's important to stress at this point, assignments were taking place. Oh yeah, most assignments. of our assignments were due. There was not, unlike the first year, it wasn't the first semester, it wasn't all clumped right at the end, but it was all spread out between November and December. It wasn't spread yeah. out for me. There, there was, there, there was, oh, no, there, no, there was one important. deadline of three, or I think- One of like, three weeks continuous. Yeah, yeah, it was like that. It was like each week there was one. So there was no, there was no easing up. Every single week, I probably worse for you to be fair. We have both had to come up from our homes to Leeds, which you yeah. were staying in a Premier Inn. I was trying to, I was trying to save money, so I was going to Premier Inn. I was going to a travel lodge on the other end of the city. I went to this place called the Kingston, which is like this really old hotel. Not a bad one, but it was a bit old. So yeah. So yeah. So. We had our final deadline, but over a week later, we finally, I finally got my keys, and I gave him his keys and we moved in. And things became calm, by, by the time we got to Christmas, we were more or less living here, and we were more or less satisfied with what we had. However, first two weeks or so... That we no, were... right, yeah, right. Now, before, I, before we go into that, let me talk about what I was doing here. Okay. So I stayed in the Premier Inn, which was not that far from the university, but it cost a lot. We originally paid for the first week there for Finn, because we didn't think it was going to take more than the first week. But then after that, he had to really take after himself. But I always stayed in the Premier Inn. 
but one point for one for two weeks no one week sorry i tried to commute in but i live in peterborough which is 95 to 100 miles south of leeds so i take the main line that goes from london king's cross to leeds to get to and from there but in that one week one time there was the, the storm which delayed two of my trains yeah so i was stuck in leeds for two hours went to go get back down another time someone got hit on the train, or someone jumped out in front of the train between uh, Grantham and Newark. So the, an hour twenty train took four hours. I think I was in a lecture or a seminar or something, and I think you messaged it me was saying the, that selfish bastard. I know I was not happy because I originally we did stop at Grantham, then we continued on, but then we got stuck in, in the middle of nowhere for a good while. So I, I said I should have gone off to Grantham. I should have gone off Grantham and gone back home. But this was one of our longest days, and it was a nine o'clock start. So I was like, "Yes, I'm going to get in there, and actually, I'm going to even though I'm commuting in, I'm going to get to do our all our nine to um, three thing." I, mean, that was that I think it was like nearly nine to five. Maybe. Yeah. So safe to say, after that week commuting, I said, like, "Never again. <laughs> Absolutely never again. I'm not commuting for an entire week. It's simply too painful and painful. And if there's something happens to the train, it's a two hour try of drive up there." Um, what am I going to do? My brother had, there's three cars and there's four drivers in my household. So it's just a, I have last pick when it comes to this car yeah. here. So that's what I was doing that time. And you already heard what Phil was doing. So let me fast forward to when we actually moved in. For the, I was setting up everything. The, uh, of course there was the, the uh, electrics and water. The utilities were fine. But the Wi-Fi. The I, Wi-Fi. Had to set, I had to set the Wi-Fi with the PC, Which... Um, Took a while, so let me tell you, for the first two weeks, from November 16th to early December, there was no Wi-Fi in this flat. No, nothing. There was technically a Wi-Fi hotspot somewhere. That didn't work? No, I think, no, I think it worked for me for half an hour, I think. Yeah, and um, there was also no bed and everything. We had to move a lot of furniture. These, these chairs are here, but we did, there was only one bed. So we had to get the beds and everything. Well, so a spoon. <laughs> no, by the way, you had, I got a bed and mattress for you and everything. Yeah. You, you already had the wardrobe here, you cook up some of your stuff and you fixed it all in. So by the end of the first week, or by the time... I went down to Ikea with my dad, got everything I needed, assembled it, sorted. So that was more or less fine. So you didn't stay in no, here. I didn't. Work. No, I did. I did. And you didn't have any blankets, I remember, I think you were using a coat So the or first day, I had, <laughs> I had that really crappy blanket that was already here. And I was just, it was horrible, but, cause, but the next day, the second day I was there, my parents came and we got the bed and everything sorted, so it's fine. So we got that sorted and everything, and I stayed here and basically used my 3G. A month, we pay, we have a family thing, that we pay £42 a month mm-hmm. for uh, 3G uses for all yeah, of us, yeah. so that's all five of us. That one month, that, those two weeks, all cost. 396 quid. What's your allowance? What's your 3G allowance? My 3G allowance is per day, mm-hmm. four gigabytes. Wait, per, right, well, okay. My, because I no, um, per month, sorry, what I'm talking about, not per yeah, day. Yeah, per, per day, four gigabytes that would per have been, day. No, 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 Fair play. Per, per month, per month, sorry. I had to upgrade mine twice. I had to upgrade my plan once from four gig to 10 gig. And then again from ten gig to twenty gig. I still pay. I still pay for twenty gig. I would just, just pay use bolt I would just pay bolt ons really, and it cost a lot to say the least. But we got so the Wi Fi sorted. But time I had the Wi Fi sorted, you had your furniture set and everything. Uh, my dad came up at one point, and we uh, we bought this. We got the table, the chairs, and we got the curtains. Mm. Which <laughs> oh god, did that take a long time to assemble and really irritate both of us. Yeah, it still doesn't look right. It's yeah, because there's no you know the weedy things on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, that we were one less, one of them broke, so that's why that's hanging down. I could probably donate one. And if, in the future, we can do that. Your dad come in. I, I still haven't, my anxiety still hasn't recovered from when I was sat in my room. <laughs> <laughs> and his family, I swear, they've got a trait of just like marching straight up to people. Because you, you did we're it. We're open people, we talk. Because you did it when my dad was sat there. You marched straight in, like, hi, I'm Ben. I'm being polite. And I, just, hi, I'm Ben. And it, oh, and your dad did the same thing. I don't even remember what your dad's called. Kev. 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 Kev, of course, of course. Kev, of course. Uh, like, I was sat, legs up, on my Xbox, just chilling like that. I heard a knock on the door, I thought it was you, so I just went, yo. 
I opened the door, like, hello, I'm Kemp. And I was there and I was like, ah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was. <coughs> so it's safe to say I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, by the time, at this point, it's now early February, so we've been, we've comfortably been moved in for about two months. Comfortably, yeah. I think, comfortably, with Wi Fi and everything sorted, really. Comfortably enough. So by this point, we've, uh, I don't know about you, but I've more or less forgotten the pains of those first two weeks moving in. Uh, the, and the first two months that we were moving on living in. I still remember so, them. I still yeah. feel the pains, but I, I mean, pushed them down. I, I've, I've come to terms with them, I think. I mean, it, it does help the fact that the rent is very reasonable now. Oh, uh, yeah. But I think that's fair. I think I've earned, I think I have earned that for not literally yeah. going. Oh, do you know how many times one of my parents, like, because they do it on different times, well, like, come with me and be like, Finn, you just need to, like, you, at some point, you just need to help yourself. Like, you just need to get, you, you know, like, go to, like, a uni accommodation or something. Yeah. And I was like, no, 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 right? They're sorting all this shit, so I'm going to give time. It was fucking hard. It was it fucking hard. It's safe to say that 2019 started with Rome and ended with the flat. So it was, it was bordered by these really stressful events for both of us. It was a turbulent year. With his depression added to it, it was just... Dude, you need to stop bringing up my depression now. Okay, people I, don't, like, I don't, no, 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 I don't mind openly talking about it, but I, <laughs> I feel like it defined my 2019, and I know we're reviewing quite a lot of that yeah. now, but I'm just trying to... Like, we're just getting it all out, really. So I it's safe to say, yeah, the fact that we survived and we're still friends and we still have this... Well, still by the, friends. By the, end of 20, by the end of 2019, it's nothing short of a miracle. Yeah. I kid you not, those two months we spent commuting was, it was dreadful. That's no other way to describe it. It was horrible. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be stressful as enough as it is, really. But add the fact that I had no idea what was happening, and I had no fun, and I keep on making promises to him that I couldn't fulfil. I made about nine, ten, maybe even eleven dates when it was June, and even the point where we said it's the last point where we decided and that didn't come through. Yeah, it, it was a... I lost faith in myself at one point, really. Okay. Not in, the, not in that couple of days. <laughs> no. no, no. I'm, I'm, still I'm not confessing okay. to, you know, okay. here and now. All right. I, that's all I'm saying is that we, uh, we learned a lot and everything. But I, re I really want 2019 as a year to just leave me alone right now because it started it no 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 then. it had its good features no. but you must understand that all years are what what have led to where you are now do not cast them away learn to accept them. i honestly thought it was worse for me 2019 or 2018. really they were both 2018 had a lot of highs but 2018 had my lowest lows as well <laughs> broken wings <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, that, that was the highest of the highs. <laughs> that was the high point. That was the high point. High point. Oh, God. Oh, what that's... the fuck was I thinking with that? I got, I got a B in that for me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Do you know that sequence I showed you? No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You didn't get a B for that. I got a B for that. What the I, fuck? I mean, I mean the, um, the, um, the, uh, <laughs> The title, the title opening sequence, you know, for uh, where I'm like getting like when I'm walking through like the uh, building and everything and see everything, you know that shit thing. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah. Do you know what I got for that? No. A star. Why? How easy was that subject? I had to that film sequence that the uh, opening sequence. Did, I had that was from a course from last year, but I did so dreadful that I repeated it the same year. Brilliant. So between January and May of 2018. I could do that for the most stressful time of my life. Okay. I, had to, I had to do two media projects, two years worth of media projects in uh, four weeks. It's interesting how you, you compare and contrast that, because similarly, I was in a sort of similar way. So um, I, I quite like exams as a form of assignment because I can hype myself up for it and sort of get in the zone for it. But it, it's very much a fugue state. So I get things get very jittery around that time. And at the same time I was doing my A-level exams, I basically, like everyone, suddenly started, like, well at least it felt like this. Maybe it was just an anxiety I was feeling. I mean, I, I think some people who 
watch my channel might come and watch this, so uh <coughs> what's <coughs> our names? So uh so yeah. So Sam Carroll left me no. Um <laughs> so, I feel like a lot of people in that time just sort of stopped sort of seeing me. I think probably people were just revising, but it really felt like everyone had just sort of Boy, ditched me. Yeah. And I, I just felt so down all the time. And when I talk about what we, we just talked about the Rome trip and like a minute ago, uh, click on the click on the channel to see that if you haven't already. Um, but you were talking about how we were talking about how that was a long period of downtime for me. Mm. The A level exams were as well. I just felt so crushed all the time. Yeah, and what did you do as well as you hoped? Well, I mean, I got a B in history. That was the best thing I got. <laughs> Surprisingly, what I did worse in A-levels was history. What did you get in history? What did you get? I got C. Hmm. I got B, C, 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 E. I did five A-levels. I did three. I did media studies, which I got a B. Mm -hmm. And I did tourism, which I got a B. And then I got history, C. So I've actually got more UCAS points than you. Technically, he has. <laughs> I like that. He, te he technically has. I like that. This is yeah, and I, I was going for all that shit, and then by the time we got to that, the last two weeks before we uh, broke up for or well, we broke up it was for study leave for my new uh, six month pad. Uh, also, there's something a vinyl came which we had ordered. It was very good vinyl. I can't remember what it was, but it was a brilliant vinyl that we got, and it came. We got I got it delivered to the school, and we had it, and then Nathan took it around. We listened to it, but not long after that, I I got expelled. <laughs> I got expelled from school. It was... This dude got expelled for making memes. I, I made a scrapbook of all the memes we'd all made over the years. That and might I, be why. As a final a present. meme though. scrapbook. But I did it on the school computer, and I originally was going to print it off, and then collect it all, and then take it away. I don't... I think I might... I originally think I pressed print, but it was at the end of the day, and it had to be released to the library. So I ignored it, and I left. It was a Friday, by the way. So come Monday, they see it, and I'm used to printing off stuff and they usually trust me. So they print off and it's left there and I had no idea. So come Tuesday, I'm in isolation all day. They think back because people have seen this, loads of people have seen this and they find it quite offensive. And by the end of the day, I kept out of school for a while. And then by Wednesday, at the end of, no, sorry, the end of the day on Tuesday, I'm technically expelled. I'm allowed to come in to do my exam, that maybe for revision sessions, but other than that, I'm forbidden from entering the school. It was not my school record, and uh, people. I do tell people about it. It's quite funny, but I still, I still was able to do my A levels. I got all my A levels, and I've never returned to that school again. So it's safe to say, years of being the ordinary quiet kid in school ended with that. Was quite surprising. I went to Promisewell in the in the summer, and people saw it like surprising. He's back. <laughs> What's he oh here my to God. do? <laughs> What's he here to do? So oh. it's safe that was that really did allow me to hit my low lows because I, I didn't expect it. It all happened in the space of a few days. Mm. It was not like it's like I'm a bad kid. It was building up. It just yeah. all happened like wham. I did not on Tuesday. I was originally on my email trying to check it, but I've been locked out. I thought something's wrong with this. So I went when I was on my first lesson. It, I couldn't do it. So I said, "Can I go down to the ID office to go see it?" I'm walking down the corridor. The ID office at the end, and who comes the other way? The head of sixth form. Oh, Ask me to see her in her office. Oh, okay. And I've not even heard this in this much detail. So this is all new for me. And well. that's and I got talk, I got talked to all about it. They originally talked to me about it, and I said, "Do you know what happened? Do you know why we caught you?" Now I'll be honest. I didn't know what they would drag me in for because originally I I have done. A, if you've seen my channel, I have a lot of random videos like how to react. I used the editing software in the media room to do that, but I've done my work. Yeah, I was just I was just doing this downtime. I thought they were originally doing for that, so I originally said I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. I know what they're doing before, so don't really know. Two words for you: scrapbook. Oh, right. And I didn't think I honestly at the time was not worried about it. I felt I really thought it was not a big deal. Do you still have any like the the, the scrapbook? I still have all the pictures, but do you don't you don't I, have it? It's like, content, no. Okay. The, and I'm pissed off. It was about 100 pages, and it took me ages. 100 pages of six foot, oh Jesus. And this is from since year seven. Oh God. So I have that, and yeah, so I had to talk about that. I was in isolation the rest of the day. I was reading my history book as well. I thought it would just be isolation. That's punishment. I've learned my lesson. I am terribly sorry. 
And I was like this the entire time. I was like, yes, I'm very sorry about it. But they thought I wasn't taking it seriously okay. because I was so calm about it. So it came to the point that when they were threatening me with expulsion, that I actually forced myself to cry in front of them just so they knew I was taking it seriously. And I've never felt more humiliated in my entire life. And the teachers who were with me at the time with it, I despise them to this day. I, I kid you not. No, there's there's Tennyson's not not Tennyson's fault. Not about. They were absolutely. You don't have to give me. names, but what yeah. subjects were they? What subjects? Uh, they were, you can you can use. They, they, really... they were pastoral members. Okay. One of them was from P. The other one I think was um, I can't remember what she was from. I think she was just pastoral. But the Hesse they were absolutely golden, and I'm really thankful to what they do. But the two people who were there, who did make me force cry, I. Desp- I've never hated anyone in my life, but I really do hate them. Wow, okay. For, for making fun of that. And then I basically brought out of isolation and told them I'm being expelled. And so, oh, I more or less disappeared from the scene for a while. I returned for myself. <laughs> People know what happened to me, because I originally put on my Snapchat, being expelled for meetings day three, which was really bad on my part, because I, I almost got my... So they, they let me off quite lightly with this body because he wasn't put on my record, but they need for him to do it if I did that again. If I called well, who, him, who, who, if I, hang on. If I put on my social media. Yeah, but on your Snapchat? Yeah. Sorry, but who from the school staff is on your Snapchat? No one, but they, they, they figure out just by talking to people. Okay. It got to a point that was actually because another person behind Oh, some, some kids are going like, it's been actually expelled. And yeah. I'm like, how do you know? And also another one mate, Nathan, was also expelled. Uh, got really bad for that. I got him expelled. He made a lot of memes, but I'm the one who put it in the scrapbook, and, yeah. I, and I, I referenced him. Oh my god, I just remembered something kind of similar. I, I referenced two other people as well, but I got them Scott clean, thank god for that. But he got expelled as well, and that really did kind of share our friendship. We managed to build it back up in the end, but I felt really bad about it. I think there was even a petition to get us back in. But of course, that, 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 that didn't happen at all. So, on the last, so I've got a yearbook, by the way, for it and all that. And do you know what? We didn't get yearbooks. I got a yearbook. So not only is it like blank, not signed, because I wasn't there allowed to come in on the last day. This happened, by the way, the week before we broke up. Nice. So if it happened a week later, it would have been completely fine. Not really fine, I mean, I would have, I could have done for the last day anything. And the funny thing is, in that yearbook are actually some of the memes. I just realised, imagine the person's face when they just find a hundred printed pages of memes. They're just flicking through it, it's like, oh, why my parents oh, actually reviewed it? What they they, they go? I'm like, sitting in the middle talking to the head six form. They're on my side when each having copies of it, but they, they did me the job of photocopying my scrapbook for me. I feel like they could have oh, sourced no, it out after no, that. No. So they were reading through it, and uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> my my one parents really struggled not to laugh. <laughs> I like that. They, they I, I, I had to keep from looking at the pizza because I looked down and saw the bean. I would have just started giggling. I had to take it seriously. It was such a weird reason to be kicked out that I had yeah. to, I had a half took it seriously and the other half I didn't take it seriously. This is a little like story time on like a podcast. I'm kind of enjoying this. Yeah. So I sort of like I get I got that so I wasn't taking it seriously. It really didn't set in until about a week later. You're like, I'm oh, still, shit. I'm still in, I'm still in shock about it. I got expelled for memes. Yeah. I, I got expelled, serious, for memes, which is hilarious. I mean, a kid at our school got expelled for punching a kid uh, on the nose. They just punched him on the nose, expelled, instant. It's very bizarre. I think it's because I'm not sure how many people, to this day, I'm not sure how many people actually saw it or the I'm gravity sure. of how it happened. Or did the just, world Or was it just it. finding it? But considering they wanted to kick me, a kid who in the, in the seven years he was at that school had four detentions to kick me out of school. Four detentions? You are evil. I got given two ever and I only served one of them. I wrote one of them for, I got given them sort of an isolation thing, a lunch time thing for uh, my gym kit. But I was let off for that. I got an isolate. no, I got two isolations. Both were for fighting back against kids who were bullying me. My fucking hero. Yeah. The fact that come on, come on. Yeah, so that'll that all happen. And so, so let's say I was happy to go to uni in the end. <laughs> you I, want to get away from that? Yeah. Yeah. I also went to a uni where I didn't really know anyone because I wanted sort of a fresh start and everything. Not that I hated anyone at school, but I'd known them all for years. So I wanted a fresh start and everything. Yeah, I'm not even going to lie. This was not the uni I wanted to go to. No, this was <laughs> not. He went, what, I don't know what choice the universities was, but and you got This was my third, out. you know you get to pick five on the UCAS thing, this was my third one. I put Durham first, because I was like, if I'd done better at my ELs, I know I've not done well enough, but like this is where I'd want to go, so I'm going to put it on there. And then second, I was like Leicester, 
because that's that seems like a nice place and a fairly like achievable thing. And a couple of other people got in on the same course and they ended up being flatmates that year. So I could probably could have been in that flat as well. It would have been awesome. Oh. But I, I, I missed it by four UCAS points. Four, four, four? Yeah, four more UCAS points and I'd have got it. Yeah. Life is just dictus in like, 2018. <laughs> but 2018. The, the thing about um, My God. using social media, like social media, putting stuff on social media and people find out, I got really, like at one point when I was feeling really down, I was staying at home for like a week. And I remember I put my Snapchat story, I feel fucking horrible, can someone please bring me some McDonald's? Which I think is, a, you know, I was just there in bed and I was like, oh. I did that. And I hadn't realised there was anything like, basically at the time, me and my GP had a running theory that I had like moderate bipolar. But I, I, there was nothing like apparently like severe or anything. But evidently now I know that was probably a day where I, depression was hitting me quite hard. But I was, <laughs> so I was in bed and I put my Snapchat story like, oh, can someone get me someone else or whatever. Meanwhile, my history class that I'm meant to be in is going on. One of the people look at it and go, Miss, look at this. Finn wants McDonald. And then the next time I came into that class, she was like, do you need anything, Finn? A pen, some McNuggets, and I was like, "All right, who was it? All right, okay, who was this? What? Who writing me out? I don't know. I don't know because they all covered each other. Was who was the uh, teacher? It was my history teacher. Oh right. Why? Oh god, no, I don't know. I've known that sorry. But... <laughs> what? I don't understand. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm having a bit of a brain fart right, as well. Okay. This is the second long video we've done tonight. I but... mean, to be fair, I think just missing the university I wanted to get to was a kind of atonement because I, at GCSE, I had a similar thing. I did not get what I needed at GCSE. I think you needed three Bs to do A-level at my school. I only got You two. only needed three? Three Bs, We yeah. needed six. We needed three Bs and three Cs. We needed three, six Bs, that's all we needed. Yeah, we need three Bs, three Cs, and I only got two Bs, but I got eight Cs. So the UCAS point was actually the same. In right. I think it was higher, but the, there was one B that I didn't get. So the all the people, because you, you know when you go to like those open day things, and they're like, so you don't want to get in, it's like, okay, Finn, you've only got two Bs, so I think maybe something vocational might be better for you than A levels. And I was like. Right, so you just call me dumb then. You, you just start calling me thick. <laughs> so, like, I'm definitely smarter than you, ego. But like, I, I was not having it. So I went up to the head teacher of my school. Shout out, shout out, big Rob, absolute legend. Love to see it. His, <laughs> his stepson's gonna see this properly. So, Isaac. <laughs> um, he like, I went up to him and said, "Oh, they're not letting me." Do a level here. So he put his hand on my shoulder. Bit weird, but I like it. Walked me over to them and went, Finn here, he, he's doing A levels here. And they were like, You only got two B's? And he's like, Yeah, you only got two. He got, he got plenty of C's. So he should do A level here. And they're like, uh, Okay. And then I, I spent the next two years terrorizing everyone. It was wonderful. Oh. Oh god. My the thing is, I definitely did a lot more agitative stuff than just make a catalogue of memes. I was always arguing with the head of six one, the assistant head of six one about everything. They tried to we had this little canteen in the in the six one common room yes, and they tried to close it down because I think they didn't have enough dinner lady stuff or whatever. And obviously you'll have like three dinner ladies serving the entire I don't even hundreds and hundreds of people, maybe even a thousand students at school, I don't know how many, it was a lot. So you had about three or four down in the kitchen, and then they'd have to assign one person all the way up to deal with about 60 to 100 students. You know. Six one? Yeah. Is that what you had? Well, it, it was 60 in our year, the year above us must have been about the same, I think there was about 100 in the year, but there was loads. But either way, not that many. Okay. So I guess they didn't consider it worthy, so they were going to close it down. I fucking rioted. I was putting up like signs. <coughs> I was putting um, like 
signs and shit up saying like without peace of mind we need our piece of pork rind just shit like that <laughs> and I put it there and I put like I took a bunch of highlights a bunch of sharpies and a bunch of pieces of paper and I put them right there so throughout the day people were adding shit and I oh, felt like Che Guevara man and I remember I got pulled into um I got pulled into the end of six month one point because uh, everyone had started doing this thing where they were pranking each other's cars because obviously people started driving. Yeah. People would leave, do shit to their people cars. Did that in high school. And we kind of went a little bit far. We covered the car in crumpets. Okay. Because you know the sort of like they, they have a bit of give to them. We put crumpets fucking everywhere. Not like literally covered, but a load of them. And this is like. Uh, while we were done with this, I'd just eaten some chicken out of a box and I just put the box in a wheel arch like that and they were driving home and the, the, like, it started smoking from the friction so there was this big thing about how I could have killed them because it could have set on fire doubt, I doubt that a lot but there was a lot of anger at that point <laughs> the head of sixth form was like, I'm trying to stay calm right now Finn I'm really, I am really trying hard not to shout right now Finn but I know you're a person who likes to agitate and I was like Oh, so you've been noticing my movements, have you, sir? <laughs> How did this guy not get kicked out of school for this, but I got kicked out for the memes? It's all about the pe It's all about having people who are doing the same thing. They started trying to like. There was this big thing about if you have to sign in and out every time you leave. And my school is in split into two wings, so I think you, I think even if I think at one point even if you had a class in the east wing. You had to go to the West Wing to sign up. And bearing in mind, to walk up to the school, you reach the West East Wing first. So you had to do a big round trip. So no one was doing that. And they started saying, oh, if we catch you doing that, you get like... I don't know, I think they like took your privileges away to go out or something like that. <clears throat> and we were like, well, no, we're just not going to do that. So no one did it, and then they just, they just couldn't enforce it. And they started... People used to come in without their lanyards, so they used to, uh, people used to take like a temporary lanyard, but everyone kept taking all of them. So like, oh, every time you give us a lanyard, we have to take something of value from you. And I think I have my favorite pen and two pound coins still at that school. <laughs> I took three lanyards and I never gave them back. Well, the thing is with my school, in order to, you had these things called silver and gold cards. Right, sounds a bit. Silver cards you got given, when you came to sixth form. And with those, you had those in protection, then they let you out for. Oh, was time. the gold card for like good behaviour? It's different. Okay. Uh, the silver card, so you can see it go out at lunch for a bit of time. The gold card you can use to go out in your freeze, or if you have a free at the end of the day, you can go home early. Mm -hmm. But in order to get the gold card, you have to do 30 hours of volunteer service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all I did. That would not all I did was do one open evening, got my teacher there to sign me 20 hours, got the rest of the town hours signed by my mum, working at her charity. <laughs> I like that. I mean, I'm working, not, I didn't go like that, the charity is an actual charity, sorry. So that's all it's I did. It's a drug front. Yeah, so I actually, so yeah, I just did that and I got given the gold card. I mean, you, you had to give those in and you have to collect those back when you come back in. They did this thing to me because I was falling behind on a bunch of my coursework. I think they did it quite a few people. They said that you're no longer allowed to leave at like lunchtime or anything like that. And I remember one day I was like, no, no, fuck you, I'm off home. I'm not even, I'm not even off out for lunch, I'm off home. And I was walking down the road, I'd maybe gone about 300 metres away from the school, let's say. And I heard, <laughs> but behind me I heard, <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? I can't even remember what type of car it is, nice one, like a proper nice car. Pulls up on the curb right in front of me, out steps the assistant head of six form, she's like, Hi Finn, have you got your lanyard? And I was like, no. She's like, uh, you're not supposed to be out of school. I, and I was like, um, no, not really, but I'm off for some lunch. Yeah. And she's like, you're not really supposed to though, are you? I was like, no, but I'm going to. And she's like, right. When well, you're going to be back for this afternoon, right? And I was like, oh yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> I was in, I was asleep within half an hour of saying that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I was the, in terms of that stuff though. I was nowhere near the last. There was this girl in our English class, and in year thirteen, I think her attendance was below ten percent. 
and I'm not exaggerating, I genuinely think her attendance must have been below 10%, and she, I don't even know how, did, how well she ended up doing, but she was really good. She was really good at it, but she just didn't come in. Mm. But I feel like all of the, like, the head of sixth form and stuff were not okay with that at all. They were like, what's going on? But the English teachers were like, yeah, it's chill. She's, she's getting the work done, it's chill. I saw, I saw, I don't know what the story was, but it was the same with some people in my school. That's why I'd only see them like half the time. With mm -hmm. uni, it makes sense. Yeah. You're not legally required to be here, but you are paying for it. Yeah. So it's sort of advised that you, you should go into the lectures. Yeah, I mean, we all felt at sixth form, like, at that point, it was up to you, in a, in a way, I think. The last thing, that's probably the reason why I was quite a bit different to you when we first started uni, because my sixth form was a lot more strict. It was still basically... We were basically still treated as like school kids. Oh, they tried that. We, they really Oh, no, but they that. tried and they succeeded. It was yes, a lot more. because you're weak down in the South. I'm not really sure what that, think about that, but. See, I've got the best of both worlds. I'm from the Midlands, but I spent 10 years in Yorkshire, so. Best of both, really. I've got the maturity, the elegance of a person from the Midlands. Yeah, I have the brutality and the resolve of a northerner, you see. I've got no north in my voice though at all, unless I start get you know, unless I go a bit more like this, you know. No? Let me just quickly edit that out. Right. So hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Yeah, there's basically I love how this started as a story time talking about this black thing, but basically It's flowed no all I've it's all like I've, a podcast. All I've done is really given we've just given a lot of people ammunition. Mm. The thing is though, what you could do is to this you could just make it a, a podcast, so you could get rid of the, the video footage because it's just us sat here and me ch changing positions every 30 seconds. Um, and you could like replace it with relevant images and stuff. So like, you know, you could get images of the different memes and stuff. In fact, you could just put a slideshow of the memes throughout all of this, throughout all of this. <coughs> that probably might be a better idea than to just, you know, do this. Yeah, it could be a good idea. Because I know. There you go. So really? you've got the editing ability, I've got the... I love how... Yeah, we, I've also said I've given a lot of ammunition to people, let's hope no one in my future sees a video and knows I've been expelled. I mean, at the end of the day, you can unlist it. Yeah, but you weren't... It's not gone on record as you being expelled, so I don't think you were technically expelled. I think they just said, don't come in anymore. Yeah, it was basically... It was something it's like, like a reverse school shoot, it was like, don't week. come into school. It was, it was a week before we broke up. So it was not much of a... You didn't, Hashtag didn't Finisco was robbed. I came third in the election for head of sixth form and <laughs> I got kicked <laughs> out of the running. Sixth form election. They split the vote. I got a lot of popular vote. They split I, the I, vote. Democracy we, is dead. We both suffered in terms of democracy in our school for the elections. Mm. See, a lot, for a lot of people, the death of democracy was when Boris Johnson got in or when Trump got in. For me, it was when I didn't get in. It's ridiculous. I won't, I won't have it happen to that school. I won't have it. I think I'm not too bitter about it. The people who did get in were very good. Can you imagine how great that school would be now if it if it had me as deputy head of sixth form? What still currently? Yeah. Do you know like you know within about within like um, because um, obviously year thirteen's finished before you finish the year before year twelves, don't they? I remember within weeks of me finishing. Year thirteen, something happened to do with like sexism in the school. So a lot of the girls in the year below suddenly started playing. I can't remember what it was about. I think it was to do with the dress code or whatever mm. of sixth form. Oh. And I, I was like, ah, look how the school f crumbles apart without the without the strong-willed voice of a certain YouTuber, you know. And then there's me who's gone his entire life without him, and now I'm stuck with him. How yeah. have I to fall in? It's chill. Just think this time next year we'll be just finishing our dissertations, then we'll never have to see each other ever again. Then think about that. So one, I'll see you in hell. No, it's not real, mate. And if it is real, I'm off straight up there. I'm off straight up there. Not real. Top floor, mate. Penthouse suite. No, we're both doomed. Me, Bob Ross, and Stan Lee can be chilling there, mate. It's gonna be great. Promise. I think this has gone for a bit of a tangent now. I think, yeah. I think we'll leave our little podcast here for the time being. Maybe we'll have another one of these again. It depends how popular it is. So this is a lot more serious than my other videos. I like that it's developed into something different. If you... Right. 
If you think that we should do more podcasts like this, click like and also comment what sort of stuff you want us to talk about. Or if there's anyone you want us to bring on, we have some wonderful people with some wonderful views and some people with some not so wonderful views that we could argue with. I'd love to argue with someone on a podcast. All we've been doing here is telling stories. I would love to argue with someone on a podcast. Wait, you said they were If we get Yusuf on here, you're just going to be sat in the middle as me and him. Get Ollie. Ollie's just going to be chill. Ollie's, Ollie's not going to argue about politics. Politics is what Ollie would argue about. But... I don't know, I, I, I try to stay clear. We'll see. I try to stay clear of general politics outside of elections because that's when you make, elections are when you make the big changes. That's when the big differences come. And so outside of that, I try and avoid it. Because who can say that politics brings them happiness, really? Let's leave it at that for now because otherwise we're going to go into another talk and then I'll spiral into something else. So that's what we have so far. If, um, there's going to be some people from Finn's channel who's come to look at this, so yeah, any questions you have, I hope so. tell him or tell oh, me. If you're f here from my channel, uh, dislike. Yeah, dislike. And then I'll tell. Channel. Now I won't be able to tell because people dislike my channel. Yeah, online. exactly, so it's just going to inflate my ego. Wonderful. Anyway, that's, that's more or less done for this. We'll start as a story and I'll turn into a podcast. I wonder how good the audio is going to be because we're speaking up, but it is a phone mic and it is all the way over there. Fair point, but we'll see. You anyway. see, this could be, this could all be unusable. This could never see the light of day. Yeah. Well, I'm off for another drink. Lovely. Bye, guys.